Hello again, everyone. Deflect here from Fair Gaming. Want to bring you a new video. This is going to be on Healer UI. So I've uh, made a video out on explaining which healer add-on I prefer to use, whether it's um, Blizzards or Voodoo or Grids or Cell. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Link will be in the description. Um, this is going to be more on how I set up my UI and my buttons. Uh, this is going just to be a basic setup on why I do things and all the buttons I'm using for specific reasons. Roughly, I'm using them. So, this is a weak aura. Uh, firstly, I use the weak aura on the right. Sell on the bottom. That's just the way I like it. If you want to put uh, sell on the left-hand side running vertically, you can obviously do that as well. I don't prefer that because I like to have some view here, and this is already crowding one side of it. So otherwise it just gets too crowded up near my character, and I don't prefer that. That's just not the way I want to do it, so that's not what I do. This is kind of move around too. If I want it closer to my feet, I can do that. Um, just depends on what I'm doing, what dungeon, and all that stuff. Now, as for what this tracks, this tracks a lot of the stuff, you know, I need. Uh, you can see here um shows lesson your next gift will cast teach you the lesson of fear they all do different things so this icon will change and that's why it's below beside shaylin's gift this tells me i have uh two renewing myths i can use i don't want to use both of them now you can see the cooldown on it this tells me i have an instant vivify so i can use an instant vivify you can see i have another one now it's on cooldown so it disappears this tells me I have Rising Sun kick up and then Blackout kick beside it. Uh, that would close because I haven't used Manatee in a while. Or Thunder Focus, see, sorry, Thunder Focus. Need that. Uh, and then it shows I have the Cocoon and then SS Font. So it shows pretty much everything I need. Nice, clean, crisp on the side. And I like the glowing that it just grabs your attention. And I don't have to look too hard. I know kind of where they are and what glows they're at. Um, that was one of the things I liked about the UI. Some people like the UI on the bottom. By all means, if that's what you like, get a UI that works for you. Um, biggest thing is finding one that you enjoy using. If you don't have one you enjoy using, it's just going to be in the way. And it's going to be messy and you're, not, you're, you're just not even going to look at it. So, personally, that's what I do. Um, if you want to use a different one, by all means, use a different one. Um, other than that, I have my buttons on the bottom. Uh, I just like the layout of it. It's kind of out of the way. I don't, if I don't want to look at it, I don't have to. It's at the very bottom. If I want to check out something real quick, I can just look down and they're there. Uh, the keybinds I use. I use the same keybinds on all my characters. Which makes it easy for me to swap in and out and play in alts. Because I play a lot of alts. So, as a monk... I'll use the same monk keybinds for everything. Expel harm will always be shift two. It just that's where it goes. Um, Tiger palms always one. You know, rising or blackout kicks two. Rising sun kicks always three. Spinning crane kicks always six. It's just where the buttons go. Um, that's I use them on all all monk specs. That's where they go. That way I know switching between monk specs. I know where the buttons are. As for healers, I have all my damage abilities always. You know, on the top row, which are buttons 1 through 12. Um, as I use a 12-button mouse, which makes life a lot easier. Uh, the second row is always my healing abilities. If I'm a tank, those are always my defensive abilities. Uh, they are all shift modifiers, or if they are mouse overs, they are no shift modifiers. So, what does that mean? means if I am attacking someone, I can use button 1 is Tiger Palm. If I am oh, mousing over a my cell frame, I can use button one, will vivify. If I have a different target, like say it's a target dummy that I can't mouse over because they're not in my party, I can use shift one, will be vivify. Um, so it allows me to do a lot of different things with barely any different keybinds. Uh, that's the way I've been running it since i've played i just enjoy it. it makes life a lot easier for me and then i know that any button that is here like let's say spinning crane kick 
is button six. I can go into this pack, Spinning Crane Kick, button six, and then mouse over and hit button six, which is going to be Cocoon on the party frames. So I know what it's going to do. I know where it is. It just makes life easy on my end. I did that throughout all these. So when you see the shift modifier down here, if I want to cast it on myself, it's shift seven. If I want to mouse over, it's just seven. It just made life easy that way. <laughs> Uh, the next row is all kind of cooldown related buttons. Those are my three minute revival. It's my manatee. Um, Soothing Mist I use a lot, so it's on one of these two. Uh, usually E and Q are my area effects, but on a healer they are kind of like your short cooldowns. Same with uh, Chi G, it's just on Shift E. Shift Q and Shift S are always my speed burst. So for the monk, it's Tiger's Lust. Uh, for the DK, it's Death's Advance. It's always Shift Q and Shift F. F. Um, and just they're in a nice spot and easy to hit, and it's just quick. Um, T is always Taunt. It just makes sense. <laughs> C is always Cleanse. It just makes sense. <laughs> Stuff like that just goes together. Uh, and all my kicks are oriented on my mouse wheel, so I can kick quick if I'm looking at something. I can just go over. And uh, spin the mouse wheel down. It is uh, in or up. Spin the mouse wheel up. It's lag sweep. You know, shift down. There's transcendence on this one. It might be an AoE kick on a different character. And then shift up on the mouse wheel is my tiger palm. And if I'm a... It's actually usually just works out to be the racial the one I'm on. If I'm a torrent, it's war stomp. It just makes things um, so I can spin it quick. Because usually when a kick needs to go off, it's got to be done quick. And if you miss it, it can be the difference of wiping and not wiping. So I needed a button that I wasn't fumbling around. It's middle mouse wheel, spin, way it goes. Uh, other than that, for healing, it is basically just set up. Get your bars the way you like them. Get your keybinds the way you like them. Maybe some of my keybinds will work for you. Maybe some of them won't. Um, depends on what you like. Depends on what uh, you're running per keyboard. Obviously, the 12 button mouse makes it so I can go to 12. If you don't have a 12 button mouse, you're probably not hitting button, you know, the plus symbol beside the backspace. That's way too far away from your hand. Um, the mounts it really doesn't matter because they're just mounts. You usually don't need to mount quick. It's not going to be the difference of a key. <coughs> and once you have your UI set up, set up your bar, set up your nameplates. Enjoy what way they're going for you. Get the size down that you want. Um, and then just get into keys and start healing. Healing is uh, it's fun. It's very uh, it's very interactive. You can always be doing something, which makes it really nice. You can always be healing someone, attacking something. And it just it brings a lot of the game together at once, I find. So I, I do enjoy healing. Um, a lot of people I know have gotten back into healing. So they're enjoying it as well. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. Like, share, subscribe. Deflect, Firm Affair Gaming. We'll see you in the next video.